Hello, oh, this is Spellbinder with an update on S510. This is what's going on. This is a uh, video called Esoteric Agenda. And it's very, very full every second of knowledge. So look up Esoteric Agenda and watch this video wherever you can find it or buy it. The most basic of pagan practices is the control of human population to have a perfect balance between man and nature. The goal is to bring the population down to 500 million, which is over a 90% reduction in humanity. Now that we have abandoned everything we've been trained to think prior to this moment, we can start looking at the world for what it is, instead of what people tell us it is. Open your eyes today as if you've never seen the world before, and you will begin to notice that the goal of population reduction is everywhere around us. Let me assure you that absolutely nothing that I'm going to tell you is exaggerated, is interpolated, or is imagined. Everything I'm going to tell you is documented. He who controls food controls the world. Well, they said in 1962, we're going to work toward total global implementation of Codex Alimentarius on December 31st, 2009. There were sort of guidelines. Look behind now, Codex Alimentarius bit. Commission is administered by the World Health Organization, WHO, and the FAO, the Food and Agriculture Organization. They fund Codex and they run it at the request of the UN. So they're mommy and daddy to Codex Alimentarius. In 1994, Codex, with no notice here in this country whatsoever, declared nutrients put on your intellectual seatbelt, declared nutrients to be toxins. Yeah, vitamins are now toxins. Oh, it keeps me alive. Under Codex, every dairy cow on the planet must be treated with Monsanto's recombinant bovine growth hormone. Told you about Furthermore, that. under Codex, every animal used for food on the planet must be treated with subclinical antibiotics and must be treated with exogenous growth hormones. If you do the numbers in the WHO FAO projections, the epidemiological projections, they estimate, not I, that just the vitamin and mineral guideline alone, when it goes into global implementation on December 31st, 2009, will result in a minimum of three billion, that's B, bad, big, billion deaths. One billion through simple starvation. Those folks who die are not particularly economically successful from the point of view of the corporations, but the next two billion. They will die from the preventable diseases of undernutrition. Who will live? <laughs> Probably those people who are wealthy enough and powerful enough to have their own pushers of clean food and nutrients. Like so we need your help families. because the United States leadership is what's going to literally save the population of the planet. The UN has put out dozens of public documents where they're calling for an 80% world population reduction. In fact, at the Beijing Women's Conference, the World Conference, back in 1997, the head of the UN food program said, we will use food as a weapon against the people. And the most poisonous substance they're using to dumb you down and kill you? 66% of the United States residents' public water is fluoridated. It is known to have tremendous effects on bone cancer, joint problems, bone weakness, lowered estrogen and testosterone levels. 
and dental fluorosis, which is yellowing of the teeth and pitting in the enamel. Wouldn't it make more sense to enhance public water with vitamins, which are meant to be ingested, to promote overall health, rather than putting such a toxic chemical in our water with a bogus explanation that it will improve our dental health? Lies. We now know that fluoride causes more dental problems than it solves. Something doesn't seem right about this. Do you honestly believe that these companies care deeply enough for the people to spend large amounts of their own money to fluoridate public water when the people already purchased their own toothpaste? But there's a difference between toothpaste and drinking water. We don't ingest toothpaste. If you go to any hardware store and look at any rat poison product, you will only find one ingredient, sodium fluoride. It is the most toxic ionic molecule outside of potassium dichromate. Now, Danon, along with other companies, have begun fluoridating bottled water. It is becoming increasingly difficult to get away from. And the fact that fluoride is also used in many prescription antidepressants shows that it eliminates aggression and motivation in people. Fluoride, to my knowledge as a physician, has absolutely no biological benefit whatsoever. Uh, but one of the significant things is that the, the Russians have carried out all sorts of experiments on the on people living in the Gulag. One of them, of course, was to fluoridate the water. Why? You fluoridate the water, why people are not uh, as aggressive as they ordinarily would be. In fact, what is the active ingredient in Prozac that is so widely distributed in America today? Why well, it's a fluoride compound. And now See? we are finding that Prozac nationwide is showing up with arsenic, lead, cadmium, and thermonium which is a radioactive mm. form of lead. Cancer, Tasty. lowered sex drive, birth defects, sedation, and brain defects. Does this not sound like a wonder drug for anyone aiming to control the population? It's, it's quite astonishing, Paul, uh, the degree to which environmentalists have not been educated about fluoride. You know, people have an unconscious trust in their doctor or their dentist and if you can persuade doctors and dentists that fluoride is safe and good, then you're, you're, you're uh, able to reach the rest of the nation. People believe they're doctors and dentists, and that was a way of promoting fluoride for Bernays. Fluoride was killing their cattle, destroying their crops. Uh, fluoride given to rats had produced bone cancer and liver cancer, and that those results had been doctored to make it look as though fluoride hadn't caused as much cancer. The pattern that we saw it typically is what we see with other neurotoxic agents that are well known to cause a hyperactivity or uh, a memory problem or an IQ problem. When I first presented the results of these studies, um, one of the uh, individuals sitting and listening to the results, he says, do you have any idea what you're saying? And he says, you're telling us that we're reducing the IQ of children. And basically I said, yes. found in almost every low sugar or sugar free product on the market. First of all, aspartame is made up of three things, methanol, which of course is what produces blindness, uh, aspartic acid, and, and phenylalanine. These are all poisons. Aspartic acid, of course, produces brain lesions. Uh, this was known back in the early 1970s. Methanol produces blindness. Phenylalanine is what you see um, certain in the brain, and in high doses it produces trauma. We're not making this all up. The FDA did publish back in, um, I think it was in the 80s, they did publish the 92 potential side effects of aspartame. And they do, you know, these side effects are quite, you know, are extremely serious. Things like dizziness, uh, problems with balance, uh, abdominal pain and cramps, changes in vision, seizures and convulsions, uh, etc., etc. 
So the nervous system seems to be one of the areas that's most affected. So we see people have difficulty thinking. Uh, they feel like they're walking around in a cloud or a fog. Yet despite all of these harmful effects, Donald Rumsfeld puts it out into the stores in over 5,000 products when he was CEO of Searly, the company that manufactured aspartame. Agenda 21, the plan. The sustainable goal is the elimination of the middle class. The world cannot support six billion people. But you see, the plan behind sustainable development includes population control. It's a program for land use control, education control, and population control. The leaders of the sustainable movement so that the world's human population should not exceed 500 million people. That's a 93% reduction of today's population levels. Goodbye. In 1992, while the real conference was going on, George Bush, then president, was there. He was just offshore in Prince Charles' yacht, where he executed the Agenda 21 protocols on behalf of the United States and brought it back to Washington, D.C. Thank you, George year, Bush. Bill Clinton, <laughs> by executive order, established the President's Council for Sustainable Development. In 1996, Bill Clinton set up the President's Council on Sustainable Development. One Remember of the that. dictates of Agenda 21 is that every country in the world is to set up a national council to oversee the implementation of Agenda 21. Sustainability means to population to reduction. Explain we are writing a new set of 10 or 15 commandments to replace the original 10. Which one of the 10 do you think these guys don't like? Thou shalt not lie. Thou shalt not steal. Thou shalt not covet. Because I tell you what, these people have lied to us. They're in the process of stealing all of this nation's natural resources, and they covet everything you have left. Evil. To explain the map, the red are areas that are to be off limits to human beings. If you live there, you won't. The yellow areas are the areas for major control of all human activity. If you live there, you won't. The black dots are the smart growth zones. That's where human beings are to be stacked and packed in small living units, along rail tracks. Smart Growth Program ultimately has jobs assigned and children cared for by the state. Logan's Run coming. And in conjunction with Codex Alimentarius, food will be limited and water consumption will be decreased to 10 gallons per day per person. That is over a 90% reduction in people's average daily water consumption. And along with shortages of food and water, the food we will be provided with will be genetically manipulated and nutrient deficient. Genetic manipulation of food causes complications in metabolizing and utilizing food for energy. In June of 2003, scientists reported that the gene sequence of the inserted genes into, into crops had actually changed their order. They had re-scrambled. So the genetic inserts are not stable. Another laboratory confirmed this and found that it had changed in the same varieties in different ways that they had tested. So not only is it unstable and changing, it's not even uniform in the way it's changing. This is incredibly dangerous. Nutrient deficiencies due to Codex's planned vitamin and mineral ban will cause billions of preventable diseases. Both of these will ultimately lead to billions of deaths. The question is then, how do they do it? How in the world are they getting this agenda from the international level down to the local level? Well, they've got a plan for that, too. Now, on the environmental side, there's probably a number of different plans, but from the environmental side... Oh, i got to cut it off from here. Called the IUCN. The IUCN. Remember that. Do your research. research. i talk to you later. It's a spellbinder. Be good. Be good at it. It's not part of the United talk to you later. Charter. 